That was a nice uh, compilation video. <laughs> I don't know where they pulled some of those clips. That was pretty funny. I think they had one from uh, this movie I did called Roll Bounce, where I was wearing like a sparkling leotard. So, that, was, that was funny, with the dramatic music playing. How's it going? Yeah, is your mic on? Like it. There, there it is. Go. There it is. Yeah. Dramatic Hi. music and sparkling leotards. That's all How are you guys doing. doing today? Thank you for the warm welcome. Do you ever get used to the girls screaming like this? Oh, girls. There's got a... There's a reverb. Is that... Can you guys hear that? Oh, there we go. Is that weird? Okay. Uh, the girls. There's got to be some guys here, too, right? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. What I'm talking about, there it is. There it is. Some manly men out there. Some Utah men. Uh, so I always get the, the pleasure of asking the first question. So with Vampire Diaries wrapping up, how do you feel about how your character's storyline ended? Well, I feel good about it because I um, was the one who really pushed for it to end that way. I, I was like begging them to, to kill me in the, in the finale. I really was. And um, I was so happy when they told me. <laughs> Ian was pissed. I was, uh, we both wanted to die, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's the heroic ending, right? Like, you know, you kind of want to go down in flames if you're gonna kill eight million people throughout eight years, you know what I mean? And like, they, it's like, I felt like it had to happen. It's a logical ending. Yeah, right. logical, exactly. <laughs> For a very logical show. <laughs> we like to keep it in the realm of believability, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's go to our first crowd question right here. Hello. Hi. Um, I was... We were wondering, what was your favorite scene to film in season one of The Vampire Diaries? In season one? Uh... Uh... <laughs> way, way back, go back. That was eight years ago, kid. <laughs> I'm getting old, help me out here. No, um... Uh, okay. Oh, you know what was pretty good? Well... <laughs> oh, you did, yeah. Do you remember the scene in the kitchen? Or was it a kitchen? I don't know, it was somewhere. And uh, Elena, like, uh, God, there was like some veins appearing on my face. And where was I? Was that a living room, a kitchen? Was it a kitchen? I like that. That's nice. That was nice. Do you know what I'm talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. You have no idea what I'm talking about. You do? Oh, that's the one. Hello. Hi. Um, did you and Even, Even, Ian, Even, Ian, <laughs> ever uh, play pranks on each other? Play pranks on each other? I couldn't play pranks on him because he'd, he'd cry. You know, he's <laughs> very, very sensitive guy. And every time I play a prank on him, he would just cry, and <laughs> pee in his pants. <laughs> This was embarrassing for everyone and, and delayed production, so I had to treat him very sincerely the whole time. Thank you for your question. With Julie Fleck announcing that the Originals is ending after this season, do you yeah. know if she has any plans for you or any of the other Originals, or the Vampire Diaries appearing on the last season of the Originals? Oh, well, I don't know if she has plans or not, but I, I've retired Stefan. Stefan's retired. I, I, I have no plans. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just think he ended in a very nice way, and uh, I'd like to keep him in there, in that metaphorical coffin, slash purgatory, slash have, what, where is he? What's he doing? I don't even know. Can someone explain that ending to me, please? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I loved it. Thanks. Hello. Hi. Um, what was your favorite season and why? That's a 
good question. Um, I think personally, I liked season three. Yeah. Yeah, because I was able to play the Ripper. The girls are a little young to, the, the Ripper was a mean man. <laughs> Those are not, they were like, yeah, the Ripper. <laughs> what's, what's going on here? Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> um, when you were playing Stefan, uh, was it easier to play him when he was a vampire or when he was human? Hmm. Uh, I think initially I had a hard time with the vampire thing because I thought that he would have to be like, I don't know, like, I don't know, more quiet or stoic. And then I got the hang of it because I realized that it didn't, I didn't think there was really much of a difference in terms of like, I wanted to make the vampire Stefan a little more human anyway, so it was kind of similar to me. So I guess the vampire Stefan was easier after so long. I forgot how to play a human. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was more fun to play, the human or vampire? The vampire, of course. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, stupid question. Like, yeah, not... the mean vampire. Actually. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi, so my question is, is with your daylight ring, after the show was done with it, did you get to keep it? And if so, what, what are you doing with it now? Why does it sound like there's a ghost in the walls? Do you hear this? It's following you. What? It's following you. It wants to see you. What is that? Is that a tea kettle? No idea. <laughs> ghost like, is all like home. The ghost, is that Ian in the, in the halls? <laughs> Crying because he wasn't invited? What is happening? It's Stefan haunting me. Yeah, it's my career. It's um, it's escaping the building. Um, what was your question? Your daylight ring. Oh yeah, you know, I actually have it here. I'm not, I don't have it on me. I have it like. It, I think I have it. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> I stole it for sure, um, and I'm pretty sure I threw it in my book bag, and it's somewhere here, locked up somewhere, so it's in this building. <laughs> Stay away. Yeah. Thanks. Hello. Um, so my question is, towards the end of the season, you know, Stefan changed a lot from, you know, losing his humanity, killing Enzo, trying to redeem himself. So what was the most challenging thing for you? Um, to play that role? I mean, anytime Stefan would get emotional, it was always, it was just like all the time. Um, <laughs> it was always challenging because, you know, you want to make it authentic and it can be a little exhausting emotionally and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the Utah wind. You know, I lived in, I stayed in Utah for like six months or something like that. I was doing, do you guys remember Everwood? I, I really liked it here. I was skiing and I was staying in Park City. It went away. It went away. Don't jinx it, it'll come back. Yeah, it went away. Um, and it, what? Oh yeah, so crying and stuff, yeah. Can I start with, like, you're the most gorgeous person alive. Wow. <laughs> I'll um, pay you later. For <laughs> sure. My question is, is um... Wait. See? See? <laughs> when it's you the were... wind. The wind threw you up. <laughs> if you were, like, a real vampire in real life, how do you think it would feel to die and come back? <laughs> I have no idea. How do you think it would feel? Terrifying. What? Terrifying. 
That'd be great. <laughs> Taking, yeah, feel like a bad trip. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hello. Um, my name's Abby. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, and by the way, your jacket is very soft. It is, isn't it? Um, okay. I just wondered, what was the biggest flaw you didn't like about Ian's character? Line? Um, flaw. Oh, flaw. Yeah. In Nina, in Nina as a human being? Or in Elena? No, in Ian. Sorry. Oh, in Ian. Ian as a human being or his character? <laughs> no, 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 no. Can't talk about Ian behind his back. Can't do it. I can't do it. Well, Ian. So. What's that? Just Ian. He's flawless. Come on. Come on. Come on. You were the good guy. He was the bad guy. Yeah, he was so the bad guy. There must have been some. I, mean, I don't know. You get a little smirky sometimes, don't you think? Yeah. You do some weird things. You see the blood. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't like that. That's his biggest flaw. I'll take it. Thank you. Love triangle between you, Catherine, and uh, Damon. Um, wait, we had a love triangle? I'm not being well, funny. One, one of you loved her. Yeah. Can I be honest? I don't even remember. Did I love her? Yes. Oh, so I loved her? Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, back in the day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were talking about in the modern day. I was like, I didn't really... Did I love her in the modern day? I loved her in the older day. Yeah. Well, that's how the whole thing happened, isn't it? Jeez, you really remind me. You know, I feel like I'm back in high school. You know, and they're like, give you an old math equation. You're like, I haven't... And you're like, oh, yeah. That's how you divide the, the numbers. <laughs> There's too many starlights to keep up with. Yeah. How do I feel about it? I mean, I feel good about it. <laughs> I, feel, I feel strong. Deep in your soul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Paul. Hello. I was wondering um, what new projects you're working on and what you're really excited about within those projects. Yeah. Um, thanks for asking. I. Most recently, the last two things I did was I shot a miniseries, uh, a war miniseries, where I played a soldier. That'll be coming out on Netflix. Um, then I direct, I wrote a film, and I shot it, and directed it, and um, wrapped it about a week and a half ago. Very, very excited about it. So I'm in post-production on it. Uh, and then and then I'm gonna go do this little movie with uh, a few people in early October in New York. And then after that, I'm gonna direct an episode, another episode of that Shadow Hunters. Woo! Um, kind of just doing some things that interest me. Yeah, that's the latest, thanks. Hi, Paul. Uh, my, Hi. Name, my name is Lexi, and I think we should be BFFs. Ooh, BFFs. <laughs> Best friends forever? Oh, yeah. Forever. And forever ever. and ever and ever. <laughs> A-E, A-E? Is that what they used to write on the, on the yearbook? The yeah. A-E would go on for <laughs> ages. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, so... Still want to be best friends? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, my question is, if you could be any supernatural creature or being, what would you choose? Um, um, something with like nine tentacles. <laughs> what do they call those? Not an octopus. <laughs> Don't they have like some monsters that go... What? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll be one of those. Still want to be friends? <laughs> oh. Alright, hello. I bet you're so tired about answering questions. 
questions about the Vampire Diaries, but I was wondering what you miss most, if anything, about working for the show. <laughs> <laughs> if anything. <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, I do miss a lot of things about it. I really do, actually. Um, you know, I really uh, was, after eight years, ready for it to come to an end. I think everybody was. Um, no, maybe a few people were. <laughs> but I was. Um, uh, but with that said, you know, I had a really, uh, I don't know, I miss the sense of community. Um, there, um, I felt like I got really, really close with a lot of people. Um, sort of fell in love with the little city. It's not a little city, but it felt like a little city to me, Atlanta. I just sort of, yeah, I kind of, you know, it's like, you know, I feel like I've entered a different chapter in my life, but I enjoyed the, that, you know, those eight years a lot, and uh, obviously it did so much for me. I mean, I look at like photos or something, or you know, um, pictures that someone will bring, and like it'll remind me of like a trip that me and Nina and Ian took to like London or something to do some press, or and I was like, oh man, and I would like think about what my mentality was like back then and the experience, and uh, it definitely brings back a sense of nostalgia and um, you know. So I, I definitely miss the people, for sure. Yeah. In, when you went to, in an interview in, when you went to San Diego Comic Con, you and Candace Acola said you guys were gonna come out with a sterile hand sanitizer. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it does sound like, if you saw a product called Sterile, would you buy it if it was a sanitizer? I would. <laughs> Sounds clean. Sounds like it's gonna do the job. So, I haven't done it yet, but if you wanna do this with me, go 50-50 on this thing. We can even just take Purex. Purex? Purex. So Purex. Purex <laughs> bottles and just slap a sticker on it. Sell them on the streets. It's rebranding. What? It's rebranding. That's what I think. It's rebranding. Um, so. Thanks. <laughs> all right. So obviously we're all we all loved those shows you've already done, and we're all super excited about the new work. But what I'm curious about is where do you want to see your career going? Where is your end game? I don't have an end game. I really don't. It's a good question. I, you know, a really good question, actually. You know, I, I really, I'm gonna answer this sincerely. It's, this is gonna sound a little pretentious, but I look for moments of inspiration, I swear. And if when a little thing hits me, I go with it. And uh, like, for example, I was like, I have to write and drag something. And then it just hit me. And I like had to go and it was like a train and I couldn't stop. And then I did that. And now I'm editing that. And then I want to just get hit with little moments of inspiration. So I don't want to have a plan as to like what to do. I want to just be able to get hit with things that inspire me. So I'm trying to be open to that. Um, with that said, I would like to find a really interesting cable role as a, a, a cable series, you know, um, but something really interesting um, and a little bit more like something mature, like a mature character, uh, more my age and not Stefan, who's like 12. <laughs> They're like, what's that? No, no, he was 17. 160, but he was still 17. <laughs> Imagine being 35 playing a 17 year old. I mean, are you kidding me? Ian's like 49 and he's like. <laughs> Thank you. Ian, not so much, but I look great. I mean, someone's got to help that guy out. Poor guy. It's really um, Yeah. 
Um, it's a shame. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's my answer. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's very nice. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Uh, who was your favorite person to work with on set in Vampire Diaries? I had different people for different reasons. Like, I really liked working with, uh, like, Michael Malarkey. I loved the acting opposite him. Enzo. I loved, uh, I don't know, he's a theater guy, you know? So he's always prepared, he knows his lines, he gets through the scenes, he kind of does a little volleyball. We kind of do, you know, I liked working with him because we would bounce and it would kind of like, Matt Davis was fun to work with. He's a great actor. He's also just sort of someone who's, I don't know, spontaneous 